What is going on everyone? Let's do something completely different. Let's take a look at everyone's favorite star of American folklore, Sasquatch, or what he is commonly known as Bigfoot. I've had request after request to do videos about Bigfoot and locations where you might want to find him, things like that. Most people associate this legend with the Pacific Northwest, particularly Oregon, Washington, British Columbia, and Canada, but people claim to have seen this creature across North America, sometimes giving it other names besides Bigfoot and Sasquatch. The legend of Bigfoot is as much a part of American history as anything else. Now, you may not believe in Bigfoot, and that's fine. I'm sort of on the fence myself. I have this, you know, there's too many people that believe in it, but it's just kind of weird, so I'm just 50-50 on the whole thing. But a lot of reasonable and educated people truly believe in this hairy beast. I have a good friend I called while doing the research on this video. He and I spent some time in the military together and he went on to get his master's degree and now he has a fairly important job with the government for about two decades now. He's also 100% sure Bigfoot is a thing. He really doesn't like people to know what he does for work, so I'll honor his privacy, but I will say one thing, that I could see his job as something that would have access to some information the rest of us may not on this subject. He did explain there's clusters throughout the United States of sightings of Bigfoot, and the data from those clusters make a very compelling argument of its existence. So today that's what we're going to take a look at those Bigfoot clusters, I guess, in my top 10 best places to find Bigfoot. Number 10. An unusual unidentified creature was captured by a game camera mounted in a tree in 2006 in a remote area of the Allegheny Forest in Pennsylvania. Is it a real picture of a young Sasquatch or just a skinny, unusual bear? Nobody knows for sure. Take a look for yourself. Kind of looks like he's thrown up. Probably had too many fermented berries. And trust me, an inebriated Sasquatch is not something you want to come across in the woods. Pennsylvania is ranked 10th in North America with 98 sightings. And I've been told, on good authority, that it's closer to about 120 to 125. Number 9. New York. New York has some Bigfoot sightings, believe it or not. This will catch some people off guard. Those are the people who do things like not read books, they don't travel, and they think New York is one giant city only. A strange amount of people, believe it or not, don't know that New York has some dense wooded areas in the upstate portion. And that's where you'll have the best chances to lay your eyes on Bigfoot. The Empire State has had 101 sightings since 1995. The best place to see this hairy biped is upstate in a triangle on the map from Whitehall to Old Forge to Lake Placid. Within that triangle, you're going to better your chances to see Bigfoot. Or Sasquatch. Whichever you prefer. Number 8. Colorado. Colorado comes in 8th in Bigfoot encounters, and I gotta tell you, I thought the Mile High State would have been in the top 3, easily. I found several videos of Bigfoot sightings in Colorado, but they only had a total of 110 sightings since 1995. With the Rockies right there taking up like half the state, you would think that the state would be crawling with sightings and encounters. But I'll tell you what, they do have a good amount of videos on YouTube of encounters, including this one. Number 7. Georgia. In Georgia, they sometimes call the Sasquatch a skunk ape, and that kind of sucks. I would be a little offended if I had the word skunk attached to my name in any form. Cherry Log, Georgia may be a relatively small community in Glimmer County, but it's home of Expedition Bigfoot, a museum dedicated to the mystery of Sasquatch. Georgia has had 132 sightings since 1995. Number 6. Michigan. The Upper Peninsula of the Wolverine State has been a hotbed for Bigfoot and Bigfoot hunters for quite a while now. They have had 213 sightings in the Great Lakes State. They also have so many normal type hunters, they keep coming up with trail cam footage. Take a look at these. Number 5. Oregon. Oregon is right in the middle of what most people consider Bigfoot country. They've always been ranked number two or three in sightings, but have slipped to fifth in recent years. I guess they're hating how Oregon is getting overcrowded and rent prices have shot through the roof. The Cascade Locks and the Eagle Creek Trail seem to be the hot spots for Bigfoot activities. Hikers often see and hear strange creatures while exploring the Columbia River Gorge. The area covers a stretch of the Lewis and Clark Expedition route and was part of the Oregon Trail. I always wonder if they saw anything, or were they too busy trying to figure out a good microbrew recipe? Oregon has had 245 sightings since 1995. Number 4. 
Ohio. Besides the two sightings of the Cleveland Browns resembling a football team this year, Ohio has been a place of frequent Bigfoot sightings. Three places seem to have a fair amount of Sasquatch activity in the Buckeye State, the Cuyahoga Valley State Park, Beaver Creek State Park, and out near Tip City, Ohio. Ohio has had 275 Bigfoot sightings. Number three, Florida. Bigfoot is alive and well in the Sunshine State. Now, I'm not sure if this is a Yeti that comes down during the winter months for the weather, but a few places have reported some sightings. Every once in a while, they'll get reports of a tall animal wandering around the waterfront. They call it a skunk ape, like they do in Georgia, and that has something to do with the foul odor that accompanies the sightings. Florida has had 313 skunk ape sightings. And yes, I said skunk ape, not Bigfoot. Stop typing. Number two, California. California is where I first learned about Bigfoot. My uncle told me about the creature while we were on a hiking trip near Lake Aloha. I was nine or ten, and I don't think I slept the rest of the trip. My uncle tried to calm me down at one point by showing me a giant firearm he'd brought with him, but I, I think that made it worse. I think I was afraid of now a bloodthirsty Bigfoot roaming around the forest that would pull me out of the tent and being mistakenly shot for a small Bigfoot if I went out to pee. For the past couple decades, visitors and locals have reported several sightings in the South Lake Tahoe area. They've also had sightings in the Redwoods, the Sequoia, and Sierra National Forest. They've also had them all the way up in Shasta, California. California has had 437 sightings since 1995. And number one. Washington. Washington State is where you want to go if you want to find this creature of North American lore. They have had far more sightings than any other state with 642 sightings since 1995. That is a lot of hairy creatures cruising around the Emerald Forest up there. That's at least double or triple the sightings of every other state on this list but number two, California. You can't shake a stick without hitting a Bigfoot in Washington. That's a lot of sightings. It's really, really an off-balance number. Anyway, so in conclusion, if you have Bigfoot on your bucket list, you might want to pack up that hiking gear and head to Washington State. Well, that's my list. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now, for those of you that are big into Bigfoot that are reading this, you'll notice Texas, Missouri, and Illinois were not included on here. And that's because there's some controversy about those that I've been told I probably shouldn't get into. So I'm going to stick with that. If you've been following Bigfoot long enough, you know what that is. I'm not going to, I'm just going to leave that alone. But that's why they're not in there. I encourage you to guys to learn about Bigfoot, either, even if you don't believe in it. It's got some very interesting stories. There's some really neat YouTube pages. I'm going to leave some links below uh, for them. There's some great stories out there about it. Everybody have a great day. Be nice to each other.